who really make today and the work of the Schools Foundation possible. We could talk about making a collective commitment to all of our children in our schools. I had the chance um, to go speak with this group of students that are on their own learning journey as part of their culminating fifth grade project. The little kid is supposed to represent the school that doesn't have a lot of money, and the medium kid is supposed to be the school that has a good amount of money, and the taller kid is the school that has a big amount of money. The school that has a lot of money has a lot of more boxes than all the other schools. And if we don't do something about this issue, then this will turn into a bigger, pro bigger problem. A, one, a way you can help this is by telling people about this problem and trying to do your part. I'm going to be talking about um, equality and equity. We still found a flaw. This was that we had to take away from the tallest to give to the others. But if we take away money from the other people, they will have less money and it will cause problems because they might not have enough money to buy the materials they need for their school. Input and action will be permanent. So think of it as a dream for the future for now. <laughs> Trying to explain the complexities of, of equity versus equality is, is just uh, brilliant. I think they've um, you know laid out part of the challenge that we have in our community, um, our educational system, is this balance of how do you make sure all kids have access without, you know, that tension of taking away from some to give to others, and that's just a, a hard balance, and we work hard in our district and our community to make that happen, but it takes more resources to make it work. The key strategies are, what do we do to make a difference in kids' lives to be able to achieve the outcomes that this community and school board have put forward? We worked with the, to develop a kindergarten program that started a half a year early. They said, you're right. And we are now going to say that we support this and endorse this across the state of Washington. So now that's going to change the lot of the The foundation was right there. Early childhood, uh, following the promise, was an area that the foundation said, we're going to support that. They gave us dollars to be able to start up classrooms, uh, to support materials. Um, and they just had your back. And we knew that, um, that they were going to be a partner with this. See, we're all writing a story. Uh, we're leaving an indelible mark on this time in this place. I believe Going to Public Schools Foundation is one of those excellent organizations. I trust them, and I think it's important that when we're making uh, uh, commitments and or we're considering supporting foundations that we know that we're supporting ones where your resources are going to be well managed. Please engage this great place that we live. If you can write a check and help out a group like the, the Going to Public Schools Foundation, please do that. And we love this community. I think we're all we're all in agreement uh, with that. I call palm down. You see, there's two ways to give. You can give palm up. Here you go. What's in it for me? Or you can give palm down. Here you are. And you can pull your hand back. Children are the living messages that we send to a time we will not see. I ask, what message are we sending?